Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel and I'm the High Mileage Helper. On this channel, my goal is to be able to help you learn more about the RV transporting industry, as well as give how-to videos for your truck and then give recommendations along the way. So this is our first time meeting. Uh, just consider subscribing, uh, hitting the like button if you get good value. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how much I made off of a short 400 mile run. So we'll go ahead and get right into the video coming up. So let's go ahead and get into the numbers here. Uh, it's a 31 foot travel trailer. Uh, it's going 418 miles on this particular run. And the pay rate uh, is $1.20 a mile. Now in this case, I happen to have an additional 40 cents due to the uh, 40 cent incentive uh, that we have going on in this industry at the moment. Uh, but uh, for right now, we're not going to include that. So I just want to share with you uh, the realistic numbers that are more likely to be the case and uh, then be able to go on from there and share with you the extra incentive money later on. Uh, so again, this is a 31 foot travel trailer uh, going 418 at $1.20. So the total for that is going to be 501 in 60 cents. So $501.60. Uh, my fuel cost, which I tried to get it as close as I possibly could, uh, but my fuel cost uh, ended up being uh, three different transactions. Uh, one for $74.64, one for $47.61, and additional to those two uh, totals for the actual fuel consumed, uh, I actually had a fourth of a tank uh, already in my truck. So a fourth of my tank uh, with the price of diesel at this time around $2 uh, with my fuel discount. Uh, it's about uh, $17 worth of, uh, of fuel. So $17 plus those two, two other transactions uh, is going to be my total fuel cost. So these three transactions all put together, uh, it's going to be a grand total of $139.25. Uh, that is a round trip price because that goes from where I live up to Goshen area and then all the way to uh, St. Louis area and then back home. So for me, that is a round trip number for fuel. Uh, so taking that into account, that that's my uh, from from home all the way back around all the way to home. Uh, so for me, one hundred thirty nine and 25 cents is my grand total for fuel out of that 501 and 60 cents. So after my fuel is deducted from my gross revenue, it now brings it down to 362 and 35 cents uh, for my net income. So next we have the pull-in fee, uh, which is $35, which needs to be deducted. Uh, Synergy has set their pull-in fee at $35 compared to other companies uh, which have higher or lower pull-in fees. Uh, this is industry-wide. If you're interested in learning about uh, pull-in fees, I do have a video uh, that I'll put up here uh, for you. But uh, uh, next, after the pull-in fee, I then have my bond account. Uh, I do have another video talking about the bond account, uh, where if you need some information on that, you can go check that out as well. But I use my bond account above above and beyond the, the total for that bond. Uh, you can use that as a savings. And so I have 10% of the gross income uh, from that total trip. Uh, so 10% of that 501 60 cents, uh, that is deducted and put straight into my bond account uh, so that I can use that as a maintenance uh, account uh, or breakdowns or whatever it may be. So with those two added up together, uh, it'll be $85.16. That's the pull-in fee plus my 10% that I pull out for the bond. So, so if you chose to not use this bond account uh, as a savings account type of situation, uh, that additional $50.16 would have been given straight to you. Uh, I'm choosing to use this as a savings account uh, for those things for my truck. So uh, those are two things that I would deduct uh, next, uh, which then leaves me after all of that said and done, after fuel, after the pull-in fee, after my maintenance account, that 10%, uh, I'm now left with 277 and 19 cents after a day and, and literally just a few hours extra for the round trip of the entire thing, uh, it's going to be 277 and 19 cents. So with this incentive, uh, bumping it up another 40 cents per mile, uh, that gives me a grand total of 668 and 80 cents. 
Uh, obviously with my bond account, my maintenance account that I do throw 10% in. So that number that I gave you before uh, for that bond account, that 10% for my maintenance, uh, that, act, that number is actually a lot higher uh, due to this gross uh, revenue originally going off of that 10%. So uh, instead of $50 and some change, uh, it's actually gonna be 66 uh, and 88 cents. Uh, so that is a higher number there, but overall that additional 167 uh, and 20 cents for this incentive uh, is pure revenue income. And so for that 167 and 20 cents, uh, that's going to be pure profit uh, above and beyond. So uh, that is going to increase my maintenance account uh, that much higher uh, for that additional bump of that 10%. So obviously uh, the fuel is still the same price. The pull-in fee was the same price. And uh, this just affects how much I'm pulling out and putting away for that bond account uh, for my maintenance account. So I do just wanna emphasize uh, that without this incentive, uh, my total net revenue after all expenses, the pull-in fee, my fuel, and that putting that money away from my maintenance account, uh, my net revenue for a day in, in just a few hours uh, bleeding over uh, is going to be 277.19. So now with this 40 cent included in this trip payout, uh, my net revenue after all expenses, uh, after more money is additionally put into that maintenance account, uh, my net revenue is $4.27.55 uh, for about a day and a few hours additional to that. So, so these are my numbers uh, for this shorter run, 418 miles at originally $1.20 uh, with a 40 cent increase. So now it's $1.60 total. Uh, I had $139.25 for fuel, had that $35 pull-in fee, doesn't matter how long or short the trip is, $35 pulled out for that. And then before the incentive was added, uh, I would have put $50.16 into the maintenance account. And then after that, I put $67, uh, including that incentive into that maintenance account, uh, leaving me with after a day and some change uh, worth of my time, $427.55. So, so hopefully this can give you a perspective of what it's like out on the road uh, doing a smaller trip, a shorter trip. I purposely did not want to factor in my own insurance, my truck payments, my all these additional factors uh, because mine are going to be different than yours. Uh, it's not going to be the same for everybody, what you need to make, but I just want to show you the hard numbers and to be able to go off this and maybe apply it to your numbers that you have uh, for your budget. So hopefully this can be a help to you uh, and that you can see what's going to exactly be taking out uh, of your gross revenue uh, and then be able to get down to your net, uh, what you'll be bringing home and maybe from there you even deduct even more for your insurance per load uh, or your truck payment per load or all these different other factors uh, that are different for people. Uh, and obviously my, my fuel consumption, 139.25, uh, I was going the speed limit 65 for, for me hauling commercially and uh, was not flooring it at, at all. And uh, these are just different factors from your truck to my truck. And uh, even the trailer, you know, mine, mine was a 31 foot travel trailer. Uh, maybe a, a, a 31 foot fifth wheel would have gotten more fuel economy, uh, which means my total would have been lower. Uh, so these factors really play into it uh, from trip to trip and uh, even the region that you're going and the fuel prices as well. So with all that being said, hopefully this was a help to you uh, in being able to figure out if this is maybe the right industry for you or uh, if you can maybe budget things differently or or how to plan things out and uh, so you can get a, a deeper understanding of what's really going on in this industry uh, when you are taking these loads, uh, getting paid per mile. I'd be glad to share more going forward. And uh, I just wanna give a rough picture of what this really looks like. So take this with some caution and uh, be able to plan this out. Look at your budget, look at what you're planning on doing, how much you need to make uh, to pay off your bills and to be able to spread out those other bills across the whole month with all these different trips uh, that you'll be going on. So uh, anyways, I hope you have a great day today. Stay safe and God bless guys.